Hi, good evening everyone. This is Vineet Pandey and I'm sure you can see me live in a better quality, much better video because uh, yeah, high internet speed is there. Here we have a very good internet speed. Uh, maybe like uh, I should keep it like this. We'll go for other writers. So uh, before we get a lot of other students and they join us, let's wait for them. And even I'm thinking to go for, to switch my lights on because scorching heat. बहुत गर्मी है यहाँ पे भाई बहुत गर्मी है सी आम सा परस्पायरिंग स्वेटिंग बिकॉज़ आई वाज क्लीनिंग माय हाउस सम पाइटिंग एंड ही कीप्स ऑन पुशिंग माय गेट आयरन गेट ही वाज नॉकिंग ऑन द गेट एंड ही फोर्स मी टू कम आउट सो आई गिव सम पैट एंड सम वन चपाती सम वाटर आल्सो आई ऑफर्ड इट्स टू हॉट एंड देन आई आस्क डंबो प्लीज गो पथ पर बिखरे शूल ना हो उस नाविक की धैर्य कुशलता क्या जब धाराएं प्रतिकूल ना हो तो मजा जिंदगी का जिंदगी में तो क्या खास मजा था जीने में सम वेट सो एंड यस आई एम वेरी हाल बुक्स को देख देख के दिस इज इंग्लिश इन इंडिया बाय कपिल कपूर दिस इज फेमिनिज्म एंड पोस्ट फेमिनिज्म हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो व्हाट इज पोस्ट फेमिनिज्म इमेजिन व्हाट इज पोस्ट फेमिनिज्म सो व्हेन आई विल बी स्टडीइंग पोस्ट फेमिनिज्म आई विल बी टेलिंग यू व्हाट इज दैट आवर लिटरेचर इज ह्यूमन सेंट्रिक इंसानों को बेस करके बना है पर क्या धरती पर सिर्फ इंसान है and on the center human are the part of the earth ever seen any novel any book which sub simply deals with the story of a dog from the dog's perspective where the dog is a dog dreams dog imagines dog feels jealous yes there is do you know virginia wolf has written a novel called Fla the story of a dog parna apu it's a must read for you जी अनिरुद्ध कुमार तो अभी 52 स्टूडेंट्स हैं आने तो लोगों को ज्वाइन करने दो फिर हम लोग जॉन ड्राइडन पढ़ेंगे देखते हैं ड्राइडन में क्या पढ़ा के गया था तब तक के लिए माय रूटीन फिलहाल टुडे आई वॉज द मूवी स्ट्रीट डांसर थ्री डी दिस विल शो यू दैट हाउ फ्री आई एम एट वाई इन द फाइनल डांस द फाइनल कॉम्पिटिशन they either use some national song some patriotic song some bhajan because in part 2 i think they started dancing on ganpati bappa morya why do we have to add emotions in the final competition can't we win the match without mixing emotions raman dhaliwal oh galti se reh gaya iska matlab ye ha dekhiye the lion The king वो देखिए king जंगल का king कौन सा हुआ लाइन यस सोचा कभी that was the bhakti song पवन कुमार मुझे पढ़ाने आ गए हैं be like a teacher don't be over smart मिस्टर पवन कुमार इंडिया के हेड हैं ये डिसाइड करते हैं कि टीचर कैसे होता है जी कौन है ये लोग कहाँ से आते हैं <laughs> focus करो what I'm saying what I'm asking what i'm asking you is why do they have emotional songs in the end of the story why to bring you as a character to make you as the part of the story and to kill your rationality this was the reason epic theater went against it epic theater said epic theater ne bola that let's block your emotions and if you remember who has coined the term epic theater erwin piscarter mai bhi bhul gaya ek baar erwin piscarter and who has developed this epic theater bartolt brest also known as alienation and moreover this is the part of art of life sake art life message but there should be art for art sake if you are just looking at the dance from the dance point of view that is art for art sake if you're looking at the dance finding out the meaning for your life for future for generations it's art for life sake so those who understood the meaning concept why did i take the reference of the song will understand it baki jo unki tarah hai jo mujhe abhi gyan de rahe the unko gyan dena to so <clears throat> we'll be talking about john dryden sarvani we do not have any branch in south but i really want to open it in one branch in trivandrum Yes. Now we go for this. John Dryden, the poet laureate in 1668, 
was one of the greatest opportunist it is said that he was the greatest opportunist he praised cromwell when cromwell died he celebrated death of cromwell by writing heroic stanza then he welcomed charles ii by writing estria redux and on his sacred majesty and then he again praised charles ii in ns mirabilis and this is how john dryden became the poet laureate he became the poet laureate in 1668 but from the time of philip sidney during defense of poesy a competition was going on whether the prose writers are better or the poetry writers are better whether history writers are good or the epic writers are good whether drama writers are good or poetry writers are good and whether the classicals are good or the moderns are good and this is how the story starts so remember this thing in essay on dramatic poesy a famous work written by john dryden 1668 here we have four characters all of these four people have direct connection to four living personalities so if a character in the book has a direct connection to a living person in the life that is called roman a clef roman a clef means roman a roman a c l e f roman a clef means novel with a key novel with some connection so here we have four people neander neander is john dryden himself crites then crites is also lord bookerest then we have eusenius that is a uh, some lord harvey kind of person i may be wrong and one more person the cds so these people they have many connections so please when you read it on wikipedia find out the four names this is roman eclef now the story starts on the evening of the defeat of dutch fleet they may ask you this question how the story starts remember it's not a story but it is written in the form of a story it starts in the evening of the defeat of dutch fleet where four of these people are sailing in the boat to enjoy the success of britishers against the dutch and when these guys are talking crites start talking about starts talking about classical drama and starts praising classical drama while eusenius talks about modern drama and when they are talking about the concept the base becomes the ancient versus moderns which is better remember this thing that crites was in support of classical drama eugenius was in support of modern drama neander dryden himself became in support of english drama and lycidius was already a great writer lycidius was in support of french drama in rhymed couplet they may also ask you a question that who supports blank verse crites crites supports blank verse along with neander now when the debate starts so the debate is written in a way that gradually the more attention maximum attention has been given to the debate between lycidius and neander dono ke beech mein aa jata hai lycidius was in support of french drama while neander was in support of english drama now the question comes when john dryden himself is the writer why he created a character lycidius to support french drama because at that time when charles ii came from france there were many writers who were in favor of french literature and dryden wanted them to respect william shakespeare and shakespearean style elizabethan drama so when debate starts lycidius says that english drama or shakespearean drama has no merit and then he starts telling the qualities of french drama make sure you write it yahan likhna shuru kar dena he says that french dramas do not use multiple plots they have single plot no episodes and that's why they are very easy to be understood and that's why these plays are much better than english plays so first thing lycidas said that french dramas have only single plot means one story single story they do not use multiple stories Dryden said drama is an imitation of life on stage and if you are imitating life on stage nobody is involved only in a single story we are the part of various social structures social circles somewhere we are playing the lead role somewhere we are the minor character somewhere we are the second character but we are involved in multiple roles multiple stories 
a father in the house is also the son of the grandfather. So if there are three, son, father, grandfather, father is also a son. So he has two roles. These dramatists are genius. They show multiple plots. Because every character is involved in multiple plots. And moreover, it helps the audience to have a grasp of the character, the understanding of a character. Will you be able to understand a character seeing in or you will be able to understand the character seeing him in 10 different sides? How he is as a king, how he is as a husband, how he is as a son. Ravan was a good king, but not a great husband, didn't listen to his wife, was not a great father, asked all of his sons to die for his pride. So technically, when you are involved in multiple plots, a character becomes intense. Second point, comic elements are comic elements, while the French writers, they purely deal with one concept, either it's tragedy or comedy. So if they are writing tragedy, their 100% attention is given to tragedy. They do not mix two emotions. Again, this thing, Dryden says that again, drama is imitation of human life on stage. And no human is having tragedy forever. Comedy, tragedy are the part of life. In the morning, you're happy. By the evening, you may be sad. And by next morning, you'll be happy again. Do you remember Phoebe Shelley? If winter comes, can spring be far behind? Tragedy, comedy, life ka part hai. Sukh ke baad, duk, duk ke baad, sukh chalta rehta hai. So if you're just showing a person in the great uh, tragedy, great trouble, then the narration itself is incomplete. Everybody goes through pain, sufferings and enjoyment. And these are the part of life. Then he says, <clears throat> third point, he says, French drama, they use very limited characters. They do not introduce unnecessary characters, while the English dramatists have maximum characters. For example, King Lear has maximum characters. Attendants, dukes, husband, then uh, messengers, then, you know, guards. Even in Hamlet, the initial scene, there are three people there talking. None of them is very important. So the story is that in English drama, you sh show a lot of characters, unnecessary characters. People find it tough to understand who is who. Abhi Dryden kya bolega? <clears throat> Dryden says, English dramatists believe in perfection. So when they have a king, a king is followed by messengers, guards. Bhai, wo raja hi kya hai, jiske aage piche guard na ho? <laughs> Kam se ho, minimum two guards to required hai na? So, Gali ke gunde bhi do aage piche leke ghumte hai. To raja ke saab se do banne chahi. So, you know, what kind of king you are if you do not have even two guards? So, English dramatists, they believe in perfection, realistic approach. And that's why they arrange messengers, they arrange guards. Because they not only fulfill the desire of the audience, they also let them have various perceptions. There is something rotten in the state of Denmark. There is something rotten in the state of Denmark. Na Hamlet bolta hai, na Horatio, koi important character nahi. No normal characters, jo guards wagera hote hai, friends wagera, wo bolta hai. But the statement is very important. So even the minor characters, they develop the opinion of the audience. It's very important. Hai. What are the importance of the two guards in the gate in the uh, at the gate of Duncan when Macbeth kills them? Macbeth ja ke sida maar seta tha raja ko. Bol deta ki log bhag gaya. But there were two guards. What is the importance of Rosencrantz and Guildenstern in Hamlet? So technically, English dramatists are perfect. And I'll tell you this thing something funny. When I was, uh, I attempted this uh, interview of University of Delhi exam. Sorry, uh, University of Delhi in, uh, interview, professor's interview. So I was in Ramjas College and uh, they asked me a question. They said, Vineet, 
in modern theater one person plays various roles on the stage just like if you have seen in ramayan one person mr aslam khan became viral because he was kevat he was mantri he was rakshas he was everything he played 10 15 roles so one man was playing 10 15 roles and uh, they asked me why one character plays in plays various roles in the play why one man is given various roles so at that time i was only net qualified i never studied in depth uh, because it's the university of delhi that gave me the idea how to study guess my answer unhone pucha ki ek hi banda ek hi aadmi stage pe panch sath role kyun karta hai wahi ram ban ke aa raha hai fir wahi bhim ban ke aa raha hai fir wahi kuch aur ban ke aa raha hai why why one man playing various roles guess my answer i said sir budget problem now you know i love it my answer it was not budget problem i'll be teaching this this thing in detail in indian modern theater aapko padhaunga main isme but that was like wow abhi mujhe lagta hai ki they should have thrown me out of the interview they are get lost <laughs> now after these things they also talk about this that french dramas are simple plots they do not use suspense they do not use mysteries they do not use the uh, you know kind of suspense twisting so audience in the starting of the play can guess who is the villain who is the hero but in but in uh, english drama audience are spellbound audience are mesmerized and they keep waiting what is going to happen next what should be the next thing and this was the reason this is how dryden put superiority of english drama so make sure you write down all these points there are basically 5 to 6 points ek cheez aur yaad rakhna the most important point 99% questions are asked between lesidius and nandes debate the questions are asked from kreitz supported blank verse isn't a supported modern art modern drama it is nandes which means new man new thoughts new ideas dryden is nandes also remember this thing that this book is example of this book is example of traditional criticism plus it is also part of liberal criticism dryden is allowing lesidius to speak it is also known as descriptive criticism where everybody has a chance to speak so they may ask you all these characters and this is the reason john dryden is called father of english criticism who said john dryden was father of english criticism dr samuel johnson remember this thing that dryden's criticism is descriptive criticism is liberal criticism also known as historiographical criticism because he has taken historical references plus always remember the main theme of this criticism is the debate between neander and lesidius now what you have to do please find out these four names lesidius crites eusinus neander and the characters real life characters who are related to them there's a lord bucris kon hai roser boyle kon hai dryden kon hai charo ke naam yaad rakhne and the opening scene nothing else you have to read or remember i'll be giving you some more important point in my next lecture today i've given you the idea about dryden once we are done with these the criticism things in within 3 4 days i will start lit theory <clears throat> so literary theory start ho jayega and i'll be explaining everything here thank you so much being here god bless you aur thoda awaaz ka bhi problem hai abhi voice ka thanda pani pee liya hai kaam kar kar ke to bolne mein extra energy lag raha hai so thank you so much and ye point note kar lena yes neander means new man new man also representing new ideas yes harshita do you have standard tabhi 3 saal mein do ne mujhe nikal diya उन्होंने बोला तो जा आई बी टेलिंग यू वाई आई लेफ्ट यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ दिल्ली दी एडॉक्स दे आर नॉट गिवन प्रॉपर रिस्पेक्ट यू हैव टू गो फॉर फ्लैटरी दिल्ली यूनिवर्सिटी में इवन बिकॉज एवरीबडी इज नेट एवरीबडी इज हेल्फ सो यू हैव टू गो फॉर फ्लैटरिंग दिस दैट दिस दैट एंड दिस वॉज द रीजन वेन आई गॉट माई सेकेंड जे आर एफ सॉरी वेन आई वॉज लाइक डन विद दीज थिंग्स आई स्टॉप अटेम्प्टिंग इंटरव्यू
and then I went for my second JRF. But I'll I'll be telling you this story very soon. Tab tak liye bye. Next class seven o'clock. Kal saat baje. Thank you, Neha.